All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy, Drew the Wizard Griggs, and I am here with our next winner, Pearson Cowles. Man, congratulations on an awesome title win, man. You got the dub. You've got the belt now. First off, congratulations. Second off, brother, what's up next? Oh, man, uh, I'm a little small for the division, so i got to gain some weight or, or look at cutting to 45. Um, got to go figure out what went wrong. I got caught two times. I think it was a, a leg kick that grazed, or sorry, a, a high kick that grazed me. Um, and I can't wait to watch the fight and see what to do next. Um, I know his right hand landed on me as well, so got to figure out uh, what was wrong with that defense. Um, and then, you know, walking out there, uh, right when he was walking out, I, I knew he was watching me uh, behind the curtains, and so I was waiting to throw that side kick. The plan was to throw the side kick a lot, and uh, that lead side kick to the gut, and then, then throw it high. So I started hitting the wall with it right when he was walking out, and felt my hamstring pop on my left leg. And so it was, it was it wasn't underneath neath me the whole fight. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, even if it was healthy, I don't know if I could have finished him. Just a uh, few things went wrong in there, and so got to figure out what to what to do about it. So yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the thing is, you were in there with a very tough competitor yeah, yeah. in Jordan Pate, man. I know I've I've seen him fight, you know, many times around, man. I mean, he just keeps coming, man. Right. So, I mean, that's, that's a, a really big accomplishment, man. Um, Appreciate that, yeah. He's um, super, you know, super strong. Yeah, I could tell he knew what he was doing. Um, a lot of people loop that. I knew he, knew he has a good guillotine, so a lot of people loop that guillotine and I counter with the arm triangle. Um, that was, you know, I either thought I was going to side kick him in the chin uh, and knock him out or get that uh, arm triangle, but he knew he was savvy to it. He knew it was happening. He knew when he had the guillotine. He knew when he didn't have the guillotine. So a lot of people hold on to that guillotine too long, and I was thinking he was going to do that, but kept trying to go up underneath for that arm triangle. Just couldn't make it happen. But yeah, man, really wanted to finish. Really hate a split decision like that, but or was it a split decision? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a split decision. Yeah. Well, you know, regardless of how it went down, you know, you did come away with the win, right. man. You got a shiny right. new trinket. Well, my first fight, you know, the the, the actual first fight, the guy, I didn't even get into the cage. The guy uh, left. They ended up giving me a TKO for timidity. Uh, he left when I was walking out and didn't want to fight anymore. So they uh, that was the re first you know time I actually got my hands on somebody. That was uh, swinging as hard as they could, and you know. Yeah. It was just a good feeling. I loved it. I thought I was going to love it. I, I loved it even with the, the injuries and stuff. So just regroup and figure it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, on on that other, uh, on your other win, the timidity deal, you know, I, I've only seen, I've seen that go down one time. I've been covering fights 16, yeah. 17 years. Yeah. And a guy's, uh, I guess he had some teeth issues. And his he said his mouthpiece was bothering him. Yeah. And literally quit. As soon as the guy got you know, in the cage, uh, they locked it. Yeah. Boom, that was it. He like was that, like, you know? oh, no, no, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, uh, it's not like that. You know, if Jordan Pate forgot his mouthpiece, he would stick somebody else's mouthpiece yeah. in there. Um, if he forgot his cup, he would go out without a cup. He would stick his cup in somebody else's cup in there. So yeah. uh, it's just a, a, different, a different type of guy that actually makes it out to the cage. And I appreciate him um, showing up professional, on weight. Uh, well, you know, that means a lot to somebody who's had a fight fall through like that so yeah. I appreciate him and his team coming out all the way from Texas so yeah man it's just a good event and everyone Delta man Delta fighting championship putting this on uh you know can't can't thank those guys enough you yeah. everybody who has a Delta shirt on you know appreciate, appreciate that putting it on and everything so well and uh so one thing we always like to do yeah. is we always like to give fighters a chance to thank the ones that yes help them get to this point because you know hey while it, it may be mono a mono once that cage door locks yeah you know it does take a, a hell of a support system and uh you know awesome teammates and coaches things like that to get to this point and uh the floor is yours brother i want to give you an opportunity to thank all those folks yeah man uh every night of the week i'm either training or i'm working a lot of people's wives don't let them do that so my beautiful wife at home um it's it's wild to have so many people believe in you. My dad and mo both my brothers drove out with me. Um, mom, sister had gave birth three days ago. She would be here if she didn't. So, oh, wow. you know, my whole family, a lot of people's family, um, don't don't do that. Don't believe in them. They don't like cage fighting. 
Um, so just having people, um, not just people, but literally everyone. No, there's nobody that's deterring me, all my friends at work. I'm a personal trainer, all my clients. Everyone just, uh, nobody gives me any shade for being an amateur cage fighter. And I like, yeah. I, I know a lot, a lot of guys aren't like that. So even if I didn't love it, like I love it, I, I would feel bad not coming out and doing it again. Um, there are a lot of guys that don't have the support system that I have. So it just, it means a lot to me. You're going to get me crying right now, but yeah. thank you all. And now, now you're training out of what gym now? Uh, Coleman. I live in Madison, Alabama. We got a we got a gym in Huntsville, a gym in Ruston, and then the original gym in Coleman. Uh, Daniel O'Brien, you know, down there off Tally Ho Street. He'll okay. teach you how to fight for real, you know. All right. So hey, if you if you want to learn how to throw those hands and yeah, uh, yeah. throw those Daniel locks O'Brien in, off Tally Ho Street, come through. Um, if you're within three hours, you, you know, there's no excuse not to come learn from him. Uh, yeah, don't even know what else to say with that. Put your hands on him and you'll know uh, he's the real deal. So, All right, guys. Well, that is our next winner of the night here at DFC 5 and new Pearson Cowles. Congratulations, brother. Sick. <laughs>